Welcome to the Healthy Mouth Kitchen. I'm Obi the Fifth. I'm gonna cook some cauliflower wings by wings. I mean bone this. No, we mean bone this. We mean cholesterol this. <laughs> by cholesterol this, we mean no oh. animals, bitch. <laughs> you can fry or bake these. Obviously, if you want to be healthy, you make them because you're frying them in oil. Oil is refined. It's not good for your heart. The key is to have them all single layered, not touching, spread apart, so they each can individually cook, so they can become crispy. And then we're gonna put these motherfuckers in the oven. Now we play the waiting game, freestyle game. You ready? Okay. All on my later, and I don't wait, cause no I'm not a waiter I just bust my ass, cause nigga I'm a skater And I love to eat food, yeah I'm vegetarian But I take the Aryan out and put a V in the end Vegan till the end, in the end nigga I do not pretend I'm here with Cheerios We're eating Cheerios, we're fucking all the hoes Fucking all the hoes Blowing hella O's, <laughs> you know? That meat is fucking, that's the shit I was talking about bro Guess, guess what we're just at? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Yo! I am drying the cauliflower. Drying it up. First, I steam it, and I'm letting it dry so it gets crispy. I'm trying to see if it gives me like, the same type of uh, cooking as like in the oven. Maybe it's like a faster way to do it. Experimenting here. Now I'm going to show the board. I drink more almond milk, I think, than then water. You're, then you're fine. Oh, then you're fine. But that's, that's, I shouldn't trip over that, right? Because there's water oh, in almond milk. It's mostly water. It's just right. almonds added. Put the added calcium supplement in, so you're fine. You're not bad. You're pretty healthy. Yeah, I just trip out when I get high that I feel my heart racing. <laughs> that happens to me too, man. Well, yo, I trip, yo. That is Let's munch out on these. Let's not talk about nothing else. What do you think? They're pretty crispy. So a few different people have already asked me what's healthy mob? What are you guys about? What's your message? What's your overall goal? We like to eat healthy, smoke healthy, think healthy live healthy overall it's just about being conscious and aware sometimes you might get too high to explain things but it's better to be high than to be stupid and that's the big problem today aside from that we just fucking do what the fuck we have to do you know smile through the bullshit and know that uh you're not alone you know you got people that are willing to help you out isn't it crazy how your whole nutritional life was a lie it's just that like every time you eat meat bro it literally clogs your arteries Damn, I'm an 80 for the because what happens is it's called lipo it's called hypoliporation which is called they call it sludge blood which is like you have so you got so much fat at once from meat that your blood is full of fat and you could that's how you get fucking heart attacks and strokes dude every time you eat, like meat like, you know, ac okay, there's this, there's this disease called acrosclerosis, which is only caused by high cholesterol. And the only reason you can get high cholesterol is from eating animal products, which, because plants don't have cholesterol. Animals have cholesterol. Like, you know, if you eat 70 eggs, it equals to smoking one cigarette to your heart. That's how bad it is for you. Eggs are literally really bad for you. I was telling my mom this morning, bro, she keeps eating eggs. Bro. Eggs are like the worst things you could eat. Cause they have so much cholesterol in that little egg. Or now I eat hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are the real trick. It has ah, zinc. I forgot to cop them today. Zinc, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, iron, Bro, I protein. Need to learn all this shit, cause nigga, I, I could put you niggas on like. That's why, like, I want to start a business, dude. I want to do vegan meal plans and vegan. I, I could. That's I, I do it already. Yeah. I know how to do. It. I know how to do the fats and the macros. And the nutrients, I know how to do it already. And I know how to do it for people who have money, who have kind of money, and people who are poor as shit. We could do th three different type of meal plans. 
That's genius. It could be lentils, quinoa, couscous, fucking beans. It could Yo, be whey those protein. Beans are packed with yes, everything. Yes, bro, nigga. with everything you need. Bana and just bananas, apples, spinach, kale. I think I need a new bowl. That's why I got the black card at Planet. So if you want to hit the gym with me one day, if whatever. You go the fuck, to this one right here? Slide. Well, I go to the one 67th by my crib, but I'll go to this one if you want. I'll go for it. Bro, I haven't been to the gym, dog, but in the, nice. mor in the morning I get on that yoga mat, stretch a little bit. Stretch. Well, the most important thing to do is stretch, bro. And I have these five pound dumbbells. So That's it's not, doesn't little, matter, bro. A little, a little something, something gets done. But man, I do want to prove those people wrong that say vegans can't get big, bro. Like, bro, it's vegan bodybuilders. You, cause you know what chicken does to you when you eat chicken? It gives you man titties because the hormones, all the hormones in the meat fucks up your hormone balance. Your testosterone gets lowered. You get higher amounts of estrogen. Like when you drink milk and, che and you eat cheese, it's all fucking estrogen because the baby. Think about it. Just think about this. What other animal in this planet drinks the milk of another animal? Just us. Just us, right? We made that shit up. See, like humans, the problem, the, our problem is we fuck up evolution because we do different shit that goes against, like, why the fuck are you going to drink another fucking animal's milk if you could just eat food? That's why we're lactose intolerant because after you're a baby, you don't need fucking milk anymore. You what, eat fucking food. What about almond milk? Almond milk's good. It has vitamin D, it has calcium, it has, and it, it's not fucking, because think about it, when you drink cow milk, that cow was raped to get its milk. Because to get milk, it needs to be pregnant. So they fucking impregnate it. They take the baby for veal because, you know, veal is nice and tender and it's good meat. And then they take the fucking milk. So you're basically, you're fucking the cow over three ways. You're fucking raping it, basically. Taking its kid and then taking its milk. Which is full of hormones and garbage. And, we, and then we drink it. Then we drink for calcium. That. But it's funny how like we're one of the leading countries in osteoporosis, which is bone can which is bone disease from not having enough calcium. Because milk doesn't give you calcium, that's bullshit, it doesn't. But if anything it destroys your bones. Yeah, it does. All this fucking lies out It's all you. lies, <laughs> nigga. It's all lies. Why do you think America's the fattest country, nigga? I didn't know. We why. eat so much meat now here. I know why. It's so much like people. Nigga, people who tell you that carbs get you fat are dumb as fuck. <laughs> nigga, we nigga carbs is energy, nigga. Have you you know the, have you ever heard of the keto the keto diet? <laughs> it sounds where familiar. you eat no carbs, it's just protein. That's crazy. You literally that's how you get kidney stones and liver disease. Cause what happens when you have too much protein in your body? It be, your body becomes acidic. You literally start burning inside. You start burning inside. Your intestines are burning from the acidity. Because of how much protein... Like, you start going blind because your body doesn't know what to do with the protein. Because what when you eat carbs, it turns into glu glucose. But then, if you're not fucking diabetic, your blood cells collect the glucose and they put it into your liver, which is, becomes glycogen. Which is a safe way to store carbs. That's why when you're exercising and you need energy, your body starts releasing glycogen, which is from carbohydrates. Protein has nothing to fucking do with energy. Protein is just building your muscle. That has nothing to do with energy itself. It's just moving. You need carbs. You need carbs, bro. People think that you live off like fat. That's why I like that raw vegan shit. It's high in fat and that you get fat. Nah, I'm not trying to be fat. I'm trying to cure the fat. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you need fat, obviously. Yeah. But not too... Like, your not, macros... Not 80% of your calories should come from carbs, 10% from fat, 10% from protein. Bro, if you're not lifting weights, you don't need more than 10% of protein. You're not going to fucking shrivel up and die. It's bullshit. Because if you eat enough if you eat enough vegetables and grains, they all have enough protein that you'll get what you, protein you need to stay with what... But if you're trying to get big and bulk up, then I would tell you 60% carbs, 20% fat, 20% protein. That's what I'm doing now. I started eating a little bit less carbs and more protein than fat. That's just because I'm exercising now. But I still eat just more fuckload of veggies because veggies are low in calories, but they're nutrient dense. They have a lot of vitamin C. Like, dude, I'm exactly energized as fuck it. all the time. Like, I've never mm -hmm. felt this. Dude, like, I only sleep like six hours a day. I'm up all the fucking time, bro, because 
Vegetables give you life. Nigga, think about it. All the energy that you ever have known comes from the sun, right? The sun shoots energy down here. The plants absorb it. And then you know how the, the food chain works. So if you eat directly, if you eat directly from the source, it's better. So if you eat plants, you're getting more the the sun's energy. But if you eat animals, the animals ate plants. So you're getting the energy from the plants that they ate, but it's less because they've absorbed the energy. But since you're eating directly from the plant that absorbed the energy from the sun, you get more energy in general. Yeah. It's just we're we're plant eaters, bro. We're not meat eaters. We can survive eating meat, but we shouldn't be eating meat. That's the that's the key. Exactly. You can survive but you shouldn't be. That's like, you shouldn't be smoking cigarettes, but you'll survive. Mm-hmm. Like, researching it, and I, like, my mind was blown. I'm like, this fucking government sending us to eat, like, drinking, like, two glasses of milk a day? Nigga, you trying to kill us, nigga? <laughs> Lying <laughs> ass niggas, bro. Because these niggas don't want to make money. It's all because the dairy and milk industry, they want to keep making money. They know it's bullshit. Supposedly, the numbers are fucking decreasing, dog, but will they decrease soon enough? Like, I want to become heart attack proof. Exactly. That's why that's why your cholesterol level is lower than fifty. You know the average one of Americans is two hundred, and that's already at risk for a heart attack. If it's above one eighty, that's bad. Yeah. If your cholesterol is higher than one eighty, bad. Bro, like there's this there's this study that they did on Seventh Adventist vegans. Those are the people that like are super really Christian. They think that the world was created in seven days and all that, and they're vegan. They have a 33% less risk chance of getting cancer, diabetes, and heart disease because they don't eat meat or dairy. 30%, bro. So you have a third of a less chance. That's a big fucking chance. A third is not small. Shit, more than a quarter. I'm telling you, bro, vegan, the vegan life is the way to go. And you're just health. And plus, when you eat more fruits and vegetables, it it, it helps with like depression, and anxiety, because it has more. Because you need all those nutrients, because there's no hormones and added bullshit into it, like antibiotics. Exactly. Those. Think about it. Like when you eat the animal, you eat the suffering that it went through, because like the muscles get stressed. All the stress they, you eat all the stress that they're that they're experiencing. It's their muscle, bro. It's all full of chemicals and antibiotics. It's all full of fucking garbage. Plus whatever they're injected with too. Whatever they fucking eat. Yeah. Remember, they're shitting all over themselves. They eat shit it's disgusting, for sure. dude. You can't eat fucking raw meat. You can eat a raw carrot, you'll live. You'll get nutrients, yeah. but a raw... They raw. tell you, don't eat raw poultry, you'll fucking die. Why? Because that shit's full of fucking... Nasty, cause it's fucking rotten flesh, dude. That's fucking why. That's na- <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's fucking disgusting. Yo, it's just nasty. Like I can't even picture myself eating that shit. Dog. Like think about it. Have you ever seen eat- anyone eating unseasoned chicken? Never. No one eats that shit because Never. they like the fucking meat. They they put fucking seasoning on that shit. They put fucking. No one likes on. the meat. They like the seasoning on yeah, it. So put- just put fucking seasoning on vegetables. It's the same shit. Seasoning for lies. Shit. Bro, I'm already stoned. You're baked, fuck, nigga. All right, starting tomorrow, no more meat. There you go. That's what, that's what, <laughs> I, that's like what I like hear. to hear. Tell me, bro, once you quit it, and you just eat more veggie. Look, if you need advice, bro, just hit me up. I, I'll give you a whole meal plan, and it's all cheap, nigga. I, you know how much I spend on myself a week to eat? Tell me, dog. Fifty bucks. Oh, that's that's a good number, bro. I need. And that. I eat oatmeal, lentils, blueberries, that. strawberries. This is what I'm gonna tell you. You're you're. This is what you should be eating in the morning, every day. I know it's boring and bland. Fruit and oatmeal. That's the per. That's protein, carbs, and nutrients right there. Oatmeal. You add some hemp seeds with it. I would suggest pumpkin seeds. They taste really good and they're they high do? in zinc. And for guys, you need zinc for cell growth and division, which is basically like hot, you get a higher testosterone boost. You need vitamin D. Just fucking stand outside for an hour. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> or eat mushrooms because mushrooms sick. absorb vitamin D. Mm-hmm. And when you eat mushrooms, they ha- you get the vitamin D. I'm telling you, bro, plants have everything you need. I fucking love mushrooms. Yeah, all of them.